bows. This, I guess, I assume, just kind of the tutorial stuff. Click and build everywhere. No mistakes in slowly figuring out what builds where and uh, how things grow is part of the game. Sure. That's all new already, I think, right? A resource depletion rates. You can like tune all of this stuff in if you want. That's the different functions there. Put some giga wool there. And then this. Of the maw. Alright. Yeah, the mask here it is. It is. All right, fine, let's do this again, I guess. Why not? I'm not sure if it's going to be like the new one or it's going to be like kind of the same. Like, is it the same tutorial as in the demo? Actually, no, in the demo you had like turn limits. So I guess technically here we might go deeper in the tutorial. Might as well. Wrecked during the War of the Trees. Dunkel, Castellus, Moorbridge, and even Port Remus. Nothing remained of our prosperous free houses after decades of attrition. We took what we had and left, in order to resettle in peace, away from the warlords and fiefdoms that remain. We will succeed, because on our backs the past was built, and from our hands the future will be wrought. All right. There we go. Um, Preparing resources. Um. Here we've already built a few special buildings, assisting connecting things up and getting this element up and running. But there, there is voice acting here. It's just it's off now because there is like one feature going on. Uh, we'll see. In the ground, it will focus on a single building at a time. This will allow you to build outward in a variety of ways and upwards later on. And maybe after the it enables all the all this stuff here. Key rotate. Connect outpost to the wood mill. Locate it down this one. I gotta get the wood gear. Oh yeah, I think there were like issues like people people with the the cursor had problems, right? Because, like, you see, like, where the cursor is and where it actually aims. But, yeah, like, I mean, this is where you need a little bit of the... Actually, I guess you can kind of still aim even this way. Like, no cursor here, but you can, like, this. But, yeah, because of the height and everything. Kind of makes sense. Oh, yeah, the right mouse button to build stuff. The aesthetic? Yeah, aesthetic's nice. I mean, I like the the general concept, even. Don't you have workers already building houses and industry along the walkway? Wherever you build it and our workers can reach, they will settle. And let's now focus on the wood mill. I left the mouse. See a wood mill and produces and transports a wood across walkways. Eh? The basic a wooden tower with a walkway towards it. Connect this stuff to basic wooden tower. Um, all right, I can get it somewhere, I guess. Build a basic tower. I used to connect up your settlement and transport vital resources. Workers will also build homes and industry around it. Get it easy. Here's a nearby woodmill, I left mouse, uh, near a selectable building. Can only travel a limited a number of walkways and uh, away from the woodmill, but this can be increased by encouraging workers to build along walkways connected to the woodmill. I'm gonna check that uh, feature there. Maybe because of the tutorial or something right now, it's not enabled. More connecting towers and walkways from the wood mill. Inspect the resource flow with tub to see the output of the wood mill grow. 
Yeah, that's the view. So you have the workforce there. You have wood here. Got two many archers there. See, see, we see. Okay, one second. Uh, enabled. Oh, wait a second. This totally doesn't work right now. I think I need... Yeah, this one I need. Uh, maybe that's why it's not showing. I'm not sure. Yeah, you get you get the avatar. I want I want to see uh, that in action how it works. That's why basically there is no uh, narrator and everything there right now. I wonder. Be after the tutorial. Elidium hello. How we do, man? Yes, mute advisor voice probably because of this stuff. I guess I could actually still keep it maybe. Just shoot, right? It's gonna be like confusing when both will be on though. Oh, I guess like if you if you have it in the in the mode of the integration, you just can disable it. Alright, that's fine though. Give me the avatar though. Hurry, I want to see it. Press the avatar. Oh no, you can see it. Alright. Yeah, whether I can disable that though. Sure. Got the avatar out. Yeah, maybe we need first to get like out of the, the tutorial stuff. Maybe. Maybe. Bombard the city. We'll see. We'll see. That also should start probably first. The integration. Alright, more connecting towers and walkways for now. Let's do it. Mill now delivering wood further than before, so we can move on. Across from the wood mill, we'll also build a stone quarry. Let's connect that to our settlement. This one. And boom. Oh, then they even got the drawbridge here. Huh, nice. That's pretty cool. Next to the quarry, our wooden towers can be upgraded to stone. Yeah, this uh, this 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 stuff actually is quite impressive, though. I'm sure. I, th I think uh, I think we were, they were talking with Pirate Software about like making this stuff, like you know, all this like procedural building sorta. Eh? So you just click, and boom, some stuff gets built. There's like drawbridge there for you. All right, so wooden tower into stone tower. Um, Select the tower, click it. There we go. That's a stone boy. Stone towers create stone walkways. If you rebuild a walkway adjacent to a stone tower in the place of current wooden uh, one, it will be upgraded to stone. All right. Oh, there you go. There is the stuff. There is the stuff. I think kind of maybe a little early, but let's see. Let's see how this will go. Oh yeah, we have the burgy there on. Actually, not the burgy, we only have this for now. Before it's just gonna get destroyed, eh? By the birds, eh? The booter, we'll see. Do they actually destroy the outpost that way? <laughs> the birds might be too much there. Integration might be dink, we'll see. Alright, here's building, eh? I will need to get the... To get more troops to deal with this stuff, looks like. No, there should, there will be more commands later. Okay, what's gonna happen even, I wonder. Be gone. Survivor destroyed, likely you made it out in one piece. The building your replacement now. Alright, let's see. Rip, there he is. This didn't break anything here. Now oh, there's the new one, alright. But Virgis are still here. They still here. Nearest building. 
All right, there we go. Sure. Let's look the outpost. Do we upgrade this more? And no iron for this upgrade now. All right, so we need more stuff. These burgers should be destroyed uh, soon. Let's <laughs> see, let's see. No, it's fine. I mean, they, they, they're gonna just get destroyed eventually, anyway. Like, we, we win in, we win in anyway. As they said, there is no, no really full uh, loss there. Hmm. Suddenly got destroyed again. There's some crit damage or something. I think Berg is mostly kind of destroying the, uh, uh, the ships and the uh, the surveyor for you, pretty much. Okay, so what the you? Outputs. I feel like this the integration kicking in kind of just made it made it derp there. Oh, because they have some rockets and stuff. Maybe that that was kind of some sort of crit or something. The Giga Birds. Uh. Okay, can build that. Oh, yeah, too deep there. Okay, we can build here though. Get some more of this. Just gets gets bullied there. No help bar. Well, th this basically the it is just behind the tutorial window. There, there is like the the blue versus orange. There it is. It's like the invaders versus our forces, which right now is only the surveyor. So we just have the, the fighting there on the background. The problem is like it also feels like. The tutorial is also kind of gets dirt because of that. Got achievement done though, though. Which is kind of also whatever, but be kind of good to to have that going, sort of. Show it. I want to see what they wanted to do. Upgrade out, post the stone. Before I'm too fast with that. There are these stone walkways there. Yeah, we got the quarry now. For the stone, but we need iron too. I wonder why sometimes it just kind of like... Oof, maybe because of like the burn. Oh, now it melts, holy. Let's see. A lot of birdies there. Let's see when this will be over. Maybe it will... It will be fine. On win. And we'll continue. <laughs> they go for another one. Okay, you can check what's what's the booter then. Yeah, one command? Now there is more commands for sure. It's gonna show more. Oh yeah, there's spawn friends too also. Oh, interesting. I guess we'll see. Hostile freebooters. Ah, I see. All right. These guys now. This guy didn't even deal with the previous ones yet. There's some Monterey's there. Some bees. I think they actually right now kind of feels like they they still fighting the Burgis though. Yeah, looks like it. Now everyone's fight fighting. Now everyone's fighting. Hey, portable hello. How we do, man? All right, that one down. How's oh, the bird down? Now, now they're gonna focus this guy though. Ah, oh, no, another bird still. Mm -hmm. 
Die wieder Dämpfer, ey. This one gun. Haruki Cloud Runner. So I guess you can upgrade them too later. That's the burning the burning bee. The bees on the fire. Yeah, that one down. Not the bees. Oh, there we go. Foundations to basic towers and outposts. I see. Build a higher class of housing on them, increasing the worker output. We need to get our own birds, and then it's going to be fast enough. Foundation to your outpost. Extend the building align slowly until square icons displayed. That's a foundation. A worker output of our outpost can be improved further by connecting more towers and walkways to it. All right. Connecting towers and walkways. Um. Let's get some. Get a tower there. And the booter is returning. No, oh, yeah, I see. I guess they, they they give a little a little time for you to do some other stuff. Nice. Towers low, uh, four foundations, wood, stone, and later. Command towers. Command towers. Okay, this one. Yeah, command towers will be the birdsons. Thunderbolt, a time we started to uh, be more ambitious. Take to the skies and seek out uh, I adore. Sure. Space switch between the gear around and air boats. Um. Build resource extractors, harbors, and outposts on other islands. So I'll also help to get you out of trouble, which is never a far on the earth sea. Oh, looks like we did find it. Iron. There we go. Mine built. No, no have access to iron. Needs to be transported across the water and build a trade route for ships that can transport iron and other resources back and forth. Alright, harbors. Uh, person changes to anchor. There it is. Suitable uh, captain. I will only carry iron and workers for our industry. That's what we need. Eh? So they hold different things, but this is iron and we need workers, so the let's sign. Captain Sell the Tree, the one and only. Let's go. Need to be built as spares. Eh? So now we need another one. Right, move back. Build another one. Destination of deeper waters and area outpost. Trade route will be automatically established. There it is. Eh? Let's get one. Maybe here somewhere for now. Closer. Like this, seemingly. Yeah, let's see who friends are. Hey, the friends, eh? Alright, we got it done. Ah, except now I guess we need still to connect it. It's like the outpost. Oh, we already did connect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Upgrade outpost to Citadel. That's gonna be good. Eh? So now... Dino can start building defensive structures such as imposing command towers, but before doing so, we need to upgrade the outpost and proper citadel. Let's go. Uh, 
I'm going to outpost the Citadel. There we go. All major resources now at our disposal. Let's focus on building command towers. This can be built with multiple floors as well as additional foundations and balconies. Sure. A basic Aston tower several times until it becomes command tower. Mighty command towers have the potential to reach high into the sky, and their height can be increased by adding more foundations as well as having a better access to workers. Build this tower as high as possible. Sure. Get him. Change the floor you're building from. Lower floors build foundations, higher floors build balconies and sky bridges. Where was the switch though? Oh yeah. Higher floor, lower floor. There we go. Command tower foundations and strong battlements that support your tower. Foundations love more floors to be built in the tower. So let's try. Bora. Four foundations from your command tower. Get one in the middle here. Slightly extend the building line until you see triangle or square icons. Triangle gonna be later from the higher floors, I guess. Move up to the higher floors. Uh, to build the balconies. Uh. Balconies are built from high floors. Uh. The more expansive your tower, the more powerful your commanders will become if they are assigned there. Hey Claudia, hello. How we doing? Yeah, this with the, the Twitch integration, yeah, yeah. Three balconies. Eh? You can actually still increase the height. Seems like it. I want to go tower even higher. Okay, good, I guess. Got the balcony. That one here kind of looks weird. Eh? Three balconies. Eh? There we go. Let's try to maybe now go up. Uh huh. That's better. We already have an experienced warbird commander among our retinue. The left mouse button command tower selected. A build line retracted to open the commander menu. Hold them. There we go. You find no finer stable. Not since the heyday of the War of the Tree. In service to our people. My retinue of falconeers is eager to settle in and get their warbirds airborne. Do not delay. Let's go. Short, friend, my warbirds are the strongest and fastest. My stable mixes Sarkonda and Northern Grey Dive traits. Warbirds, the likes of which have not been seen for decades. Can the bird give them? Stand watch our settlement. Our forces will deploy during the bell or bell group when the surveyor is near the command tower. Now we can get the surveyor here. There is the Burgiza. Settlement is established. Access to resources, citadel, and command towers. And time to explore surrounding area, finding more people that will help us thrive. Sure. Let's see who we find. Desperate times, so you may need to accept unlikely neighbors and be wary of who you invite in. If they bring their old allegiances, conflict is sure to follow. There it is. 20 seconds timer right low. Yeah, I don't think you can adjust those though. Now it's all up to you. Head out and explore the RC or rebuild our society as you see fit. Protect yourself and our citizens well. Good luck. There we go. Yeah, pirates it is, eh? But now we have the birds though, so... Should be good, eh? And that's already better. The Giga birds, eh?
There should be more. There's going to be more choices, I think. Right, come on. There's a lost bird there. Get him. Get him. Got two birds, maybe. All right. So, well, oh, actually, I kind of need a surveyor for that. Unless we go building and let's expand a little more. And more workforce and everything. From the. I think this one is already connected there. Eh? Maybe not that much point then. Uh, let's try from here. Hmm, gonna go on this one. I'm gonna build a second one here. From here. Oh, we can connect this way. It's gonna be a weird one, probably. Oh, not that bad. Then this kind of maybe like not the most, not the most optimal one, I guess. A rich milestone in population lining with the free houses. This will attract new free house captains and commanders to our banner. The free house folk are numerous and will generally make for the majority of people in our settlement. Give us our loot, yeah. It still take a while. I'm gonna need another tower probably for that. Get the, a lot of different birdies. The bird army. Let's try to build this way here. Connect with this one. Come on, there's like the one left already. Do it. Yeah, just like genuinely curious that the birdies, the the the, the friends, uh, who's gonna be the friends? Uh. Let's get one tower here upgraded now. Uh. Go higher. Can we get it? No available commanders. Commanders, there. A valuable retinue. Oh, experience gain, actually. Ah, can be found across the URC. So you actually do get some XP from that, too. All right, interesting. So we do be leveling, I guess. It's probably for, like, the surveyor or for birds, for captains. So we'll need to find new captains. Let's see. Question mark. Who that be? What's more valuable than a warm hearth in these bleak yeah, times? It's Mr. Portable there. Valuable? This is Mark II. Whatever stories you might have heard. We found you, man. We found you. What's more valuable than a warm hearth in these bleak times? Well, look no further. Master fabricator of boilers and heated houses at your service. Had some minor mishaps at my previous patron, but I assure you, I can deliver fabulous Mark II heated houses. Hidden houses. Feels good, huh? Businesses appear. There should be some votes and stuff for that too, I think. But we'll see. It might also become just a tutorial mission, kind of. Oh, one second. Uh, can do this. This. I posted them. Yeah, you should do the post. Of it. Let's start the chat timer then for the message. There we go. Save them. All right. There we go. Oh, that's the friends, yeah. There they are. The 
just like the, the, the friendly surveyor is sorta. Let's see. Let's see. Alright, so, well, I did get the timer. Now we did get this too. And yeah, I would appreciate the signal boosting on the tweet. Here we go. Let's see, and now, and now we are officially in a sponsored segment. Well, 4 p.m. CT. Checking that. Uh, checking that integration. Oh, more question marks. Time to spawn. Actually, I'm not sure these guys will. These guys can be constantly around. Let's see what else is in, in the events there. I wonder. Ah, okay, could that be new captain? Maybe. Free house alignment if placed. Gain transport vessel, workers, wood, stone, and iron. Why not? It's also free house, so our kind there. Can roll trade ship captain, they can be assigned to transport goods, eh? which we need to build more. Get some more resources going. That's a wood game. Can we actually do that? Now we have the resource extractors. Oh yeah, that was like limited for the mission. So I guess it was just tutorial stuff. Or maybe you acquire them somehow else though. So let's see. The more resource extractors would be nice. Friends already gone. They either gone or they like returns. And now the birds are here. So yeah, I guess I guess friends were already gone. Oh, no, no. Wait a second. There they are. Yeah, they just, like, I guess, stay where where you were before. So it's not a surveyor. Also with the birdies. Or is it our birdies? No, I think it's theirs. So they're just basically chilling here now. I mean, that's good. That's good. Bomb shows are holdings and she can, can fast travel to also mark any freelance captains that they enter our waters as well as suspicious locations. And what is that? Yeah, some more resources, but we don't have the the extractors to build. Click the link. Feels good, man. Feels good. Yeah, link is the, the Steam link, basically. So, yeah, you can... Uh, you can check it there. Can get it on Steam. It's already released. Already out. Not the demos or anything. Alright, what do we have here? Bring it. Resource colony. Ah, oh, there you want to actually kind of get the votes on this one. Aligned or intimidated. No, oh, and decided on its own. Ah, oh, so we decided trade. I see. Trade begun. Easy life. So that means we need to get the secondary one. Let's go. Back to our main colony. Make trade, not war. War pay indeed, eh? Okay, more resources. Sounds good, eh? Okay, where should we get one? Let's see the path. Which path is more optimal? This seems kind of okay, right? Oh, wait a second. No, no, this is the... This is the iron one there. Still not particularly at home. Okay, it goes from the left there. So let's get one... Oh, yeah, there's the, the guy... The friend's still here. So let's build somewhere here. Let's 
I will carry stone and workers only. Nothing else. Oh, well, who is there? Wood, I think, right? Only carries wood and workers. I need to check the trade route. What the trade route does there. Prospering prosperity is attracting criminals, uh, wishing to target our trade routes. Need to start taking our trade route ser security seriously. Trade routes that are long, resource rich, run past unaligned faction settlements are at increasing the risk of being raided. Nice, Steve. Nice. Feels good. So, we was there. Our workforce into the wood gear. Alright, so we need. Uh, Oh, it's because I was, uh... Oh, so, well, 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 now they need to keep the window on there. I see, okay, how it works. Yeah, just close the window, interaction window. So you still can kind of, like, get the war after trading with them. Why? Select connecting. Okay, I need the, the captain. Give me the captain there. Can we get the captain? I will carry there we go. Stone and workers okay, so wood My workers. There we go. A new home. Seeing it prosper fills me with pride. There we go. Yeah, yeah. So this this trade route will be we will be sending. Oh, ship entered the work the waters right here. So we sending workers. They sending wood. Yeah. My ship, my, the time my ship and kin have served Dunkel for generations. Dunkel is no more. I was hoping to serve your new settlement. Fighting vessel, that's nice. In protecting your trade routes. Enroll an officer. They command a mighty warship to defend your trade routes. That's good, huh? Resources, the resource flow you can see. It is kind of dank. So we have, yeah. We formed the iron here. And there it is. Uh, eight stone. It's minus two workforce. Seven wood. Uh. Oh, wait a second. Do we need to build the. Uh, kind of like military. Uh, Where can I get it? Like the military dock or something we need? Let's try. Unconnected. Uh, can we get the military? Yeah, there it is. Alright, so this is going to be where they... It's probably unconnected. Oh, what if we... Get it close to here. Will it be patrolling then? Like if we get it here. Yeah, I'm not sure you can. So, like, where you build it? Do you even need the second one? Then that's the question. Mm, not sure. Come on. I could assign the captain there, though. I'm not sure. Maybe I don't need the second one. It's set unconnected. So, I do need one, I guess. Can you? Where are we dropping one? Settlement too far away. Yeah, stop doing the, the cursor here, though. And then this one connects where? Can we get it somewhere here? Yeah, I can build it somewhere here, though. Now it's gone again, too. Hmm. Sure, that works. 
Because we'll see maybe we don't need to connect. Put the military in, so... Technically, they shouldn't need to be connected. Yeah, I guess it's fine now. Doesn't show anything. Piratus. Send your flagship to deal with them. Somewhere there. That's question mark too. I need to check. Well, friends are actually heading out there too. Friends are actually helping. There we go. Yeah, even got another spawn there. Bring it, bring it. Bring the XP. Freebooter is coming, I see. There they are. Get him. Yeah, now they're kind of getting, getting destroyed. We lost one bird, though. I don't know how they just like, take some time to regen. Just like with the, the surveyor. If friends be strong, actually. The rockets and all. These hours indeed, huh? Okay, so my ship stands in good order. She's yes. ready to defend. Do we train. need to my ship stands connect you? I'll transport anything you wish me to. Oh wait, we can get multiple ones. Oh wait a second. What if we I see I think. So what if we assign here? I'll transport anything you wish me to. My ship carries oh, wood. I need to unassign you there first. Yeah, so I guess you assign My like one trading vessel and then and then you assign the military one to the same port, the same route. Well, can I do it right here? A new home. Seeing it. I'll transport anything you I serve. There we go. My ship All right, so will you now guard it? Where are you going to be going? Ah, oh, there you are, I think, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so now this is going to be patrolling the trade route. That's how it goes. Ah, senior. Got him. All right, let's see. I have more question marks there. Some Capitan. Captain. Rebel here. Yes, please. You actually travel here like that? Oh, yes, yeah, see, okay. Got to check the question mark, too. But there was Captain, I think, to recruit, so might as well. But let's see. Where was the captain to recruit? Are they already gone? Ah, come on. If I can go here then. What's on that question mark? Another settlement. Many from the great imperial houses. Please portable again. Damn. And so many portable. <laughs> you survey a good spot. Our post is salvage and uh, relegate increases imperium alignment if placed. With 
would we are greatly reduced, and this is our last holding. Reject us, and many more are certain to pass. Their splinters lost to us. We are Salvage and relocate increase imperial alignment if placed. Please I mean the shrine. Halting holding, and we will rebuild wherever you survey a good spot. Second outpost. Ah, there it is. Oh, demol oh, we can demolish and rebuild? Ah. Do we need to, though? There's no resources, so I'm not sure if it's... If it's that good, huh? I mean, why? That looks kind of like a nice place. What's the problem with that? Can you still expand? Let me see. Oh, we do need to... Oh yeah, we need to first connect them like to the stone here. Okay, I see how it is. Well, fine. Demolish it is then. Sure. Now they will rebuild somewhere else. All right. We'll see about that. Demolish their stuff. Because we can. Okay, go here. Let's see if I need to build more at home. Eh? Small outpost acquisition there, yeah. And go the unrest. Yeah, plus five. I feel like we need some uh, more housing. Actually, wait a second, we're here. Sent you here. See who we find there. I'm gonna defend more of my trade routes. Uh, who that be? Fighting vessel steam rake. Free house alignment if placed. Seems well, I have finally found that rumored safe haven. And what a sorry sight. Where are your gunships? Your corvettes? Where is your fleet? Truly, my services are urgently needed. This here is an ironclad steam rake. Not many of these around anymore. And she is for hire. We seek a new patron, new waters to guard, and new harbor for repairs and restocking. What say ya? We'll get you. Sure. You're gonna patrol this then. Your and I transport is out with. I will carry. My ship carries. I'll transport anything. Any pirate would do well to avoid my gun. There we go. This route is acceptable. We'll patrol his waters and. No, I don't think you can adjust them. Actually, I do not think so. Well, actually, let me see. I'll check. Yeah, you can. You can't really adjust it in these settings. Huh? This still didn't kick in either. I feel like I will need to start like maybe like not not the tutorial mission because like, I'm not sure actually. Like, is there? Like we're basically just playing, replaying already after a little bit of tutorial, I guess. So there's kind of no point doing it anyway already, since we kind of did it. Maybe I'll switch to another mission, see if it will kick in. Uh, let me see, maybe there is a way to adjust it actually. One second, I'll check it. Commands. Mm. Yeah, it's like raid and settlement menu. Yeah, looks like you can't. Looks like you can't adjust yet. Yeah, 20 seconds is a little short indeed. Eh? It'd be nice to have some way to adjust that. That would be nice. See, so you have like all the raid stuff and you have like the decisions for the outposts. Or like, you know, the encounters. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly. Let's see, and I'm gonna try and maybe we'll get the... The... 
more stuff going like what if we pick this for example A resource depletion, hostile encounters, extractor range, starting extractors, one of each. Oh, so you can get more, looks like. Extractors provide resources, fewer ones at the start. You will need to trade for resources or conquer those that have them. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there's the faction leading. Yeah, let's see, like, maybe without Toriel, it's gonna kind of, like, kick, kick in more. Oh, well, some big stuff we here. Civilization and technology amongst this sparse world. It's people too humble to develop and prosper without our vaults of wonders. An ancient legacy filled with secrets and regret. All of this now scattered across the earth. That's some more dink architecture these guys have. Bring our remaining gifts and rebuild society. Path is gone, so we must forge our own way forward. This a different architecture style than boats and stuff, too. Kind of more like this, like high tech ish thing. I like that. Oh, this one you just kind of like build completely from the get go. I see. That's nice. So we can decide, I guess. Stone wood. And we get the metal somewhere, though. Um, like, not really. Look at the soul tree doing. Captains and commanders that have been unlocked except in the assigned perfection. More superior commanders and captains are unlocked as the population of perfection increases. Then commanders may also be unassigned and dismissed from here. I see. High fleet? No, I haven't played high fleet. High fleet, I haven't. Okay, I don't know why it doesn't show me the... Okay, I want the... Let me see, maybe I can get it here somehow. No, it wasn't Twitch integration one. I want to get the, the portrait thing going. Just uh, for funsies and uh, to see how it is. Uh. Yeah, the person love it are uh, not appearing. I want to get it. Re. Try to restart or something, maybe. Just doesn't show. Like covered by some, nah, that, like there's there's like minimal like UI is very minimal, so you don't really have, uh, have much of that. Does not appear. Could try to maybe reactivate, maybe like restart the game. See, maybe that will work. I mean, then it will need to reconnect again. That's probably not gonna be appear. Probably not gonna appear then. Yeah, do you have this on right now? Well, I mean, I could try this. Oh, could. It actually doesn't even, like, move right now. So I feel like... Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. It probably wasn't, like, getting any... What's the name? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I see how it is. It wasn't just getting input for some reason. There it is now. Can remove the webcam now, dude. Uh, let me see... I don't know why it didn't, though. Because I had this one, I even installed this stuff just so I can get the... God, now the sound also is... Been... Well, actually, you have the sound. I don't have the sound, dude. Start messing with the with the Windows audio system. It is always something, man. Why is it... Hold on a second, I'm gonna fix that. Uh, microphone. Oh, well, maybe that's why. Let's do this one. Turned on. Sure. Now let's see. Will that work? I mean, I could go with this, maybe. Like this one works, but this one also like sometimes like moves. You know, like the lip syncs some like noises and stuff. 
Which I guess whatever. I'm not sure why it not go relax. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one not. Come on, man. This one should work. The broadcaster's thing thingy. Oh, maybe it's actually oh working. Did you load in? Okay, it feels like a little delayed though. A little to put it mildly even. Maybe I just go with direct. Uh was direct less luggy. Is it also kinda of bit delayed, huh? Okay, it is also kinda of delayed, I guess. Eh. Sod gear. Okay, it killed the, the 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 sound for me though. Like you guys still have the the sound in game. I don't have the sound in here. That's what you get for with the for like with the dealing with the with the sound settings in Windows and everything. Okay, it's like super delayed now. Why? Why are you so delayed, man? Come on. Yeah, that's a little too much delay. Hmm. Maybe I should try to restart. Nice portable, nice. Sounds good. Sounds good. So to, to like remove like the webcam and stuff, but yeah, if there'll be like such a delay, that's gonna be a little weird. A little weird. Eh? A looking a little weird. Eh? I mean, we can do for memes though. Okay, so it maybe will work then. Oh, I wonder if it's only like one run saves. I assume so, right? Is there like a way to do it some other way? Clear progression. Oh, oh, I see. Alright, so it's gonna wait. Oh, continue. Alright, there is continue. Oh, it's like, okay, progression in the campaign. Alright, let's see. Will it, will it still have the. The camera and the sink and stuff. Oh, yeah, it looks like it does. Kind of very delayed, though. Seems like kind of very delayed, eh? The farm works portable. Nice, nice. Okay, and like my, my sound is... Okay, one second. I'm just gonna restart the game. Let's see. That will make it a bit better. Let's see. Okay, I want to lower the delay. Makes sense like, to have a little bit of it, but it feels like it's a little too much of it, though. Too much of a delay. Alright, I have the sound. You have the sound. Let's see. Welcome to Bulwark. A game about cave. We're gonna continue this one. And, and let's see. I think I need to, to turn the integration on first, though. Because we restart it, it disconnects. Didn't it? Yeah, activate. Now it should be one. There we go. Hmm. Will it? Will it? Still loses the. Uh, yeah, it's like. Why is such a delay, though? Why is such a delay, man? That would be cool, but delay. I feel like it was less. I don't know, maybe because of OBS or something. Even if I put like the direct from the microphone, it's still gonna be kind of weird there. I guess when you can like constantly non-stop talking, that would be kind of fine though. And just keep it always on there. Still gonna be kind of weird, I guess. Still be, it would be quite weird there. Eh? Come on. Unlucky. I think it was better when I was testing before. I wonder if it still goes like to some sort of server. Nah, it should, it should be local. Just with the, the broadcasting thingy. Come on, man. 
Which that would be a little less delayed, eh? I'll just turn the, the cam off, I guess. I mean, I can. Let's see, let's mess around with that a little. And why not? I'm gonna embrace the new cam, you know. That's pretty much it. It's pretty much it. I'm gonna go cabless then. Alright, let's see what is happening here. Is it actually better? Ah, oh, it actually maybe is kinda better in game though. Yeah. I guess preview is kinda like laggy and in game it actually kinda is okay. Well, you know, still better than Bethesda lip sync, you know, I guess. Why not? I better take already and just one Mandeva. Feels good, man. Now we'll get more population. Connect. And walk away. Oh, yeah, front of harbor. Not exactly front, but let's see what you mean. Get some ding connections going. Can I connect one of the big ones there? Okay, I think go like this this type of bridge gear. Nice. The V2 being implemented in game. Sorry, I guess, yeah. No beard option? There, there was, there was. I mean, I, I have like kind of like the hobo stuff. Well, actually, I guess we could. I just kind of thought that I will. I uh, will shave a little more again. Oh, actually, fa facial hair is uh, affecting like the the, the, the backdrop hair too. It's a little kind of like. Yeah, it's only kind of like this. It's a little, a little too much of a beard, you know. I don't really have that much. There we go. We go with the long hair, sorta. And not necessarily a giga beard either, anyway. Oh, come on, are you like that now, like, like logging? Or is there like some buffer? I wonder. Yeah, I feel like now, now, it, now it got a bit laggy again. Like, come on, dude. Or would it catch up now? Still a little delayed. Re. Some other noises sometimes or something. I'm like taking something else there. Oh, wait now. Silent. Stop. I can go over the tree there. Like take some like some other stuff, not just the the microphone. That should be just microphone, really. Should be. All right. Yeah, kind of catches up at some time. Like I guess there is some sort of buffer. And then after some time, it kind of like starts sinking better. All right. Good to know. See, VTubing is hard, man. I feel like some, some noises still kind of trigger it, though, even though like my microphone shouldn't really be catching those noises. Gonna have the noise filtering on, so it shouldn't even. Somehow, sometimes some other noises like kicking in. Now, let's see what kind of dinkness we can build here. We do need some more population. I 
Music elevator. Oh yeah, it is. Can we connect you? No, oh, I could just press this. Can I connect them on different levels? Nah, I don't. Well, actually, kind of. You can here. Maybe just cosmetic though. Milestone now population aligning with the bannerless pirates. To attract new pirate captains and commanders to our banner, and installing these uh, people will increase their alignment to the bannerless further. Yes, this is all the oldest like faction stuff too, huh? different factions of people we have. So there's gonna be like new new boats, new pirates arriving. Alright, let's go there. I want to start start again doing the uh, the the chat interactions thingies though. Oh, did I actually get? Oh yeah, it actually does seem like I can rebuild the settlement or something. Whoa, 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 whoa. let's see how this goes. Can I build them when when there is more resources? Let's say maybe I can build their settlement and then just get the trading going with them. The port, because I got this now. I feel like it's building something. Can we get another settlement? Would we have plenty actually? Oh, there it is. All right, it works good. There it is. Twenty seconds. Speed running. Who's the fastest one? Gonna get some. Some giga level defenses there. There they are. And the birdies. Yeah, I was trying to get the metal here. Let's go. Okay, so can I do this somehow? So we do. Okay, not enough resource extractors. So it's still kind of not going to be. Yeah, it just starts like a new Hello, outpost, I guess. Yo, Deb Joe. Yeah, welcome back to the dungeon. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. Happy Easter to you too, man. Thank you. Big 70 indeed, eh? Okay, so can we trader is now connected? Yeah, I had one free there. So, like, what do you guys have here? Okay, they have the outpost, so they have some work power. We need to deliver them a wood gear, stone. Well, I guess metal too, sorta. Gonna be really. I will carry stone and workers only. Not my ship can I'll transport anything you wish me to. Alright, this guy can transport anything. Alright. Let's try. This route is profitable. And I've been hauling good loads. No metal though. Drill. Yeah, we go in full VTuber mode now. Did it is, eh? V V2 bin. Plus five minus four minus two. See portable I see. That one I need to play. That one's still somewhere there in the plans, eh? I guess the body. No, 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 uh, no cowboys and stuff here, I think. Our Didn't seem like it. In over a year. We would go apostate and find safety in your group. The order is fractured and cannot provide for us. Our, our research post has not been supplied in over a year. We would go apostate and find safety in your group. The order is fractured and cannot provide for us. 
Yeah, right, let's try. So they provide, uh, provide plus six. Is there a point to kind of disassemble and assemble it somewhere else? Or we just kind of like set up the trade routes here and can build them more? Not like I really, they really achieve anything here though. It does say that you can like, yeah, remove it. A dismantle, salvage. Not sure if I want. Maybe if you actually decline and fight them or something and get the uh, resource extractors. Buildings in the horizon. I don't know, I say something else then. So yeah, the plus six population here. That's good, huh? Hmm. Already somewhat upgraded too. Wonder if I should uh, just get this maybe. I will buy stone and workers only. Not my ship carries wood. Let's get the wood gear. I will carry stone and workers. Get this. And let's go connect it, I guess. All right, let's see where we're going to connect that. We can just right to the citadel. Why not? Boom. All right, trade route in. Connected captain can transport specific goods back and forth. And then two captains there. Nice and cozy indeed, the buddy. Nice and cozy. That we do. That'd be... I want the units. Yes. You want the fastest runner on the Ursi. Transport the vessel, the workers and iron. At the bannerless alignment. Hope you want the fastest runner on Fine, we'll get them. I wonder what they can do with those alignments later. Yeah, you won't there. Friends, eh? There we go. It's a booter. You kind of didn't really notice much of a difference with the with just the pirates, really. Just different kind of pirates, I guess. Well, that's not that good. Maybe I shouldn't. Let's build it here. Oh, he's behind. Come on. Want to go on top? Let's see if we can get more, even more population going. Need some upgraders, huh? Citadel now. Yeah, yeah, you could drill. It would be kind of better if I do that. Maybe stay. But it's kind of like to fall in line, I guess, with like the game notifications or something. And the the, the pop in ones. Not a boat. Let's see. Gears, yeah. The VTuber well, career time. It, well, that's a good looking airship. You've got folks with good splinters to share. You look like you could do with wood being smuggled about. Alright, fine. Let's see what else we have here. I think there's already no more upgrades in the outpost though, I think. Let's sit at the law. Not the outpost anymore. Get some super balconies. Eh? I 
guess in Citadel not really. I'm just gonna ask the foundations, but not the not the balconies on the Citadel. The half life doctor could be. Okay, the true actually with the glasses. Uh, I think I know which one you mean. I do think so. My tower go ham. Ah, can go ham anymore. Find balcony then. Yeah, balcony just goes like all the way from the foundation. Minus five population now on this one though. But technically I can get more and more birdies whenever we get another captain. So you get more connections going. Do you not connect? This way. That's exactly what they want. This way. More population. Yeah, gravity is a hardness of hardness the hardness. Mm. That it is that it. That eat uh. Yeah, and we're not really outputting because we're treating it. Hmm, even the building alignment also. The separate building alignment, alright. Alright, let's see what you guys have here. Just need extractors for that to work. No question marks. But let's, let's explore. There might be more settlements. Even it's hard to control? No, actually not really. The controls are quite nice. Okay, I need to get used to it first though. That's good, Pentropy. It's actually pretty, uh, pretty easy. But yeah, you just need to kind of like, first you have the the switch, you need to keep in mind. You have like the air, the control of the surveyor. Then you just like space bar, you switch to the building area, basically. There it is. It's just kind of like, it does less of your like usual navigation. Like you don't really move with, you know, like this the screen moving. You move with like left clicking and it just kind of like switches you between different... And like closes targets, closes buildings. Uh. So you can't really like free scroll, I guess, too much. Which kind of makes sense because you're supposed to, to explore with your surveyor. So you have only like limited uh, the cosmetic freebooters. Yeah, they already kind of like not, not that crazy. There is, I think, patch in the works now also to add some sort of, like, you know, the... Uh, kind of, like, pe people... Some people wanted to have, like, more, like, challenging mode, I guess, or something. So I think they're working on something. Well, they... It's one uh, one dev, uh, Working on... Adding some sort of, like, challenging stuff for en for enjoyers, uh. Aha, so there was something. Ooh, it's Commander. I can oversee your stone production and improve it significantly. Yeah, Master Mason, alright. Good day. You might not Sure. Oh, he has like a stone quarry here and stuff. Alright, sure. I'm down. So are you already overseeing it, sir? 
Or how do we uh, do that? No, we drop this. There we go. Transport people and iron. We need stone. Ah, we don't have anyone with stone. Come on. Need to recruit new captains. Wait, so where was oh this one? My masons are preparing the finest stone slabs and manufacturing the strongest concrete. Things are as they should be. Hmm. I guess he's already working on it. We just need to provide some workers here, I assume. Let's go build the second, the second dock. Maybe we'll find some boats on the way. We need someone to transport some stone. Another outpost. This meager holding was always a last resort. We That's the Giga Drill Breaker. There he is. Demolish this temporary haven so we can rebuild upon a spot of your choosing. This meager holding was all. All right, fine. So we can actually demolish and rebuild. Eh? Oh, building mode. Eh? So what if we rebuild this? On that area? Yeah, there it is. Salvage buildings, like spot on solid ground or in the shallows where you can rebuild it from the, your surveyor. So what if we try to build that uh, right around this and i guess there's not that much space to build stuff but sure it's an outpost don't need that much and what if we get can we get like high up here that would be so good huh? go. That's what I call an outpost. And before everything is now like too too far to actually build more towers. Oh, oh yeah, no, okay, that's fine. I first need some wood gear. Well, for wood gear, I still need this first though. Okay, I need to dismantle this. Can I actually? I can, alright, good. Now we drop a new one. Like here. Then we try to connect. No, I'll I'll transport then. People and iron. I've been okay, wood. Eh? I'll transport people and iron. They're the only things worth anything. We need stone though. Stone. I guess people also do. Okay, did you did you guys get the wood gear? Do we have access to wood gear now? Uh, hmm. Okay, so do I need then? Let's see, an assign. And a sign. This roof provides not enough to carry. I'll Unless you already delivered, though. Oh, yeah, I didn't finish the route, though. This roof provides not so let's try to finish it first. Maybe more boats. Oh, it's another outpost, you or? These are hard times, and thus. They bring me Fresh combat forces. My group and I have been on the run for so long. We seek refuge and will submit. That's Pentropia right here. There you are. Outpost salvage and relocate. Increase bannerless alignment in place. All right. Sure. So these guys are gonna provide us with some more forces. Gonna have this guy from them, I guess. Or that's still our friend. You guys summon the friend? No. Unless it's the old ones. Yeah, it kinda seem like one, I guess. Oh, actually, maybe no. Maybe that 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 uh, outpost gave me this guy. Hmm. 
Gotta go build another port. Then drop it here. Not that close. There we go. Now Woodgear, I think, should start pumping. Woodgear pumping. Come on. Like metals, eh? Just want to connect them. There we go. Got bored, dude. The builder and the roost is there. Huh? There we go. Nice. Still say elevator here. Seems like it kinda. Oh, wait a second. Now it's just a turn for the stairs. Alright, I see. Elevator here, though. There it is. Plus 19 stone here, actually. Not bad. But we do need to get more. Okay, the wood is not super high. I and we do need a lot more, though. But that I need extractors. Uh. I can get fresh mines to build now. Yeah, build all of this. Can actually upgrade them. There we go. More. Ah, okay, design already now for next upgrade. Stairs, eh? And some big buildings there, eh? Huh? Alright, let's see him. We should mark that be. Reasons. There he is. Rural stock charts and surveys from several centuries gone. It's a wasteland business that it's belonged to. Demolish the salvage unique building. The guild service. Guild facility. The guild used to have surveyors, explorers, wreck divers, and more. All funded to keep trade going and expand both Freehouse and Imperium settlements. But alas, much has been lost. Alright, let's see. Perhaps you can employ some guild surveyors. Alright, so we're salvaging and we're getting the unique building. Let's see, guild surveyors. Demolish. Basic towers and stuff, I guess we also don't really need. Okay, so guild surveyors. Uh, book surveyor. No, it's my surveyor. Uh, how do we build the, the surveyor again? Is it like to farm resources or what are we going to do there? Anomaly. That's an anomaly. Oh, okay. oh, wait a second. Is this the one, I guess, right? Well, I can drop it right on it, though. I can drop it here. Just don't know what they exactly do. Oh, wait. Did it, will it give me another surveyor, then? Okay, fine. Let's see what you're going to do here. So, does this work, actually? 
surveyors. Output range. Workers would stone night. It probably is something we just drop on the the resources, I guess, right? Let me try. Can we find some iron? Here. See that will work, I guess. Individually or the a bond of commands? Oh wait, no. We have the resource extractor. So how do we use surveyors though? What do we do with them? Have a lot of friends around there. Feels good, man. Get all the friends. What if I drop it here? So, can we do something with you? Okay, it connects it. We did connect. Hmm. But what now, though? Oh, wait a second, upgrade. Can we? Mm, doesn't seem like it. Might not have enough resources, maybe, for that, though. Okay, what surveys do? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe that says something here. No, actually, we can check some of this, I guess. There's four or C resources to gain access to all building options. Uh, the, these are workers, woodstone, and iron. Function fairly straightforward. Workers bring life to your settlement. Most importantly, they enable uh, your extractors to produce the other resources. Outposts produce workers, which can be upgraded up to citadels. And uh, wood enables you to build towers and walkways at your leisure in order to expand your settlement. Stone locks ability to upgrade towers, walkways, and outposts. It also allows workers to build better housing that can shelter more people. And allows you to upgrade the outposts to the citadels and to build command towers that can uh, reach uh, high into the sky. Commanders can be assigned to command towers, can introduce defensive turrets and uh, battle group units. Resources. Alright, different types of units. Place using your surveyor. You go on top of an appropriate uh, wood, stone, and iron source. Hey, boss face, hello. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Resources have one and only important stat, distribution range. For example, wood mill produces plus four wood, can deliver wood up to four buildings away from it. Literal quantities are not relevant, only their distance to deliver. I see. Every building in your settlement consumes one resource, except command towers, which additionally consume one worker per additional floor. Oh, so the higher the tower, the dinker. If a building has access to all resources, you can freely build without limits at that specific location. Expand and build freely up until the resource is out of range. The next tractor is placed on top of source of wood, a rock or iron, and then the resource will deplete. The numbers shown around the radius of the resource indicate how many buildings uh, can consume that resource before the total amount runs out. Building in the game is designed to act like a spoke and a wheel, and buildings act like the center hub of a wheel. Whereby towers are automatically connected using walkways and sky bridges like a spoke. They also it possible to build foundations and balconies that branch out from a towers. Foundations and balconies provide additional space for people to build better houses. They would underground them. Commanders also utilize balconies by placing defensive turrets on them. Man turrets, the towers maximum height is affected by foundations and the access to workers. More foundations, workers there are, the higher command tower can reach. I see. And done with warlords already, Steve. Nice, nice. Congrats. Trade routes. Ocean going ships primarily act as transport or combat vessels. And meat captains who offer their services in both classes. Alright, that's kind of more or less obvious. 
one of the other street route process are automatic. Command towers. I have some commanders that kind of know. Faction leader. Wait a second. Battle group fly out to a tower assigned to a commander and their units will join you. Some commanders buff resource extractors connected to their tower. Faction leaders unlock a new set of captains and commanders in the soul tree. CCUAC. Why not? Why not? People like reading those. Eh? Why not? When exploring the world, you may encounter buildings, anomalies, and a variety of people. Well, these may negate a new, a new commanders, buildings, random businesses that may populate your settlement and more. Some of these may lead to hostile encounters as well, especially if you are aggressive to other factions in your actions. Settlements. God, that's how like the alignment goes. Yeah? So who fights who, I guess, sorta. Settlements are remaining other towns and cities on the Earth Sea. Those that survived the war, those that aren't always in the best of shape, and any welcome trade from you. When interacting with settlement, the screen will show you how aligned you are with them and their faction, which is the result of your faction alignment. Example, if you have a lot of battleless captains, commanders, and outposts, you will attract a lot of battleless population. This will result in a high battleless alignment. You may even be identified as a battleless settlement if you are aligned. If the, the dominance continues to increase. Settlements respond to your faction alignment. For example, if you are aligned, you may be given the option to invite them to join your settlement. Settlement screen also shows intimidation. Intimidation is a military comparison between yourself and their settlement. If intimidation is high, you may be able to force certain options, such as surrendering during a war. Come with fairly straightforward. Battle group engage any enemy units close to your surveyor and lay waste to them. Once the war has been declared, they will attack settlement defenses as well. Beware additional forces may support your enemies during the, or after combat. Health of your battle group in comparison to your enemies shown. Alright, saw that. Overall battle group and each individual unit gain experience from every fight, providing them with bonuses to their performance. The whole experience of your battle group is shown in the inventory. If you lose fighters, your total experience may drop in the inventory. Lose units during a battle, you may gain more after a cooldown period from commanders that spawn them. Fresh forces always start as off as a rookies and therefore may diminish your battle group experience. Sultry in inventory. Oh, inventory is interesting. All map shows you where your settlement buildings are, and allows to fast travel between them and for giving server destination commands to new areas. World map also leads to the inventory screen that shows you any constructs, unique buildings, or extractors you are carrying, all of which can be deployed from your surveyor. Inventory screen leads to the soul tree, which shows you all the commanders and captains you have in service per faction. Shows you potentially free commanders and captains and how much population you need to attract more. Dismiss commanders and captains from this screen. Once you have fully unlocked the soul tree, for a faction, a quest to find a faction wonder might appear. Ah. I see. Interesting. Okay, inventory. Maybe in the, the inventory I will be able to actually see what it does. It sure does. A battle group experience capable. Guild Surveyors. Guild is a modern incarnation of a pre-war mapmaker's guild. Then their stocks of surveys will extend the range at which you can observe resources on the map. Ah, oh, okay, I see. In Surveyor Hold. Eh? The extractors would be nice for more resources. Okay, so we just, I guess, still drop them. Surveys will extend the range at which you can observe resources on the map. All right. Well, then I guess we just get them back. Sure. Stay here. You can live in our main settlement then. I don't really mind. Eh? You do that. Okay, done. Let me get them back. Connect everything. Okay, 
them connections. Another elevator. A look in Dink. So now we can see resources further, apparently. All right. Let's see, you can recruit somewhere. Who's there to recruit? There's a lot of action. A lot of stuff flying around there. Eh? Like this, this kind of you know world in some like more immersive format, you know, some like first third person stuff, kind of like Age of Water, I guess. But Age of Water, like you know, not really, not really that serious, I guess. Yes, talk. There we go. All right, sure. Transport vessel workers. I'll take it. It'd be nice to have the resource extractors, though. So we can still get more of the tie in. Oh yeah, the anomaly stuff. What was it? okay? Fine. Question. Well, actually, fine. Question mark. Then let's see the anomaly. Doesn't look like it's on the map. But the anomaly. That is. Uh, let's see. Giga drill. There he is again. Guild business. There they are. Oh, it's getting destroyed, eh? So unlocked new set uh, not new businesses. How does that work? Yeah, we don't really get that as a great victory. Okay. How do we do those businesses then? Will this guy just go back or maybe it's like a a trade ship also we can use now. Is he going back? No, he just disappeared. All right. Just, what was the anomaly? Some big boys, eh? Or is our friends, eh? Some quite modern ones, uh, by the looks of it. Okay, question mark. Let's go. Yeah, not sure what happened with that uh, business thingy. There is delay a bit, yeah. Sometimes it kind of gets more delay, sometimes less delay. Hey, who'd that be? Oui. The speakers of the sacred steps have seen and that's the three days. elements, them son. But I'm proud of what my people have accomplished to end the war. The we sacred brought those steps together embassy. to speak that needed to be heard, and we are now available to help ease your factional tensions. Hmm. We can get people back to work through the sacred power of prayer and speech. Okay, so this I guess like reduce the tension between different factions you have. Interesting. Yeah, war is only like with like the settlements that are not like joining you. Only they have like either trade or war. We'll find some. 
We'll find some. Yeah, some like obscurity, I guess, maybe is a little too much. Even though you also kind of don't really have like some sort of, you know... Oh man, I just like gimped my build and everything. So you just sort of need to experiment with that stuff. A less hand holding, but still. Sacred Steps Embassy. Now the work speakers will smooth over the factional differences that may occur within their vicinity. It matters in captains back to work who may otherwise refuse to do so. All right. Like what's here? Let's see. Salutations. We've come to guard the new Banneler's throne. The Pateranauts have arrived. Fresh combat forces. Uh. Salutations. We come to guard the new banner. Oh, the commander. Throne. So we're gonna get some more uh, burgers if we need it that way. What do you do with this anomaly, actually? If that was the anomaly that uh, was mentioned. Mm hmm. We need to build something there later, we'll see. The whole army already. Flying around with us. This is already ours. Did interact with these guys, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll need to move these eventually, too. It's like, I guess, getting everyone. To leave it together doesn't sound like that great idea. Okay, just go there. I'm gonna build that embassy. See how it is. See how it is. Still a bit like think and impress it is like the the one the one there for everything except for like music basically so even like all the models and stuff too it's got nice style in that way though easier to kind of kind of low poly stuff now right, where can we slab that Somewhere here, maybe. Or... Let's try here. There we go. The booter is coming. In one case. Tower upgrades that uh. battle hardened. Uh, these guys getting XP. Feels good. Feels good. It does say upgrade available actions. I'm not sure though if you can upgrade this one. Kinda doesn't seem like it really though. Just giving free XP, yeah. Uh. I mean I'm not sure, like will we we'll have some sort of a some sort of crazy, you know, crazy enemies. Just get like the trade route is so short, it's not even moving. It's like I'm just gonna stay here. I see everything through. Don't need to move. Eh? Leave it to traders. Still exist, and we recognize friendship. There'll be a time when you may have wished you did the same. Another commander increase the bannerless alignment if placed. How's our alignments look actually? 
So we do be getting a lot of it, actually. We do. 1532. 168. We have already like... Oh, actually, wait a second. I did get a, a commander. Can we get that commander in that tower? Let's try. Whose commander that was? Um, Okay, how we select this and this. Of the Terranauts is incredibly expensive. Warbirds are for the common. A true bannerless lord is escorted by Paterans. Paterans. Our Paterans are all well fed, and our stocks of missiles and ammunition are good. All right. Made up. See how they look. That's a dink tower now. Ah, it's these guys, huh? There they are. The view the bird. Some pterodactyls right there, alright. Okay, who's here? And the boat too. Well, we'll get them. And let's see. And let's see. Okay, what, oh, that was the, yeah, that was the captain. Commander, should we get that commander? It's going to be another free wars one. Not sure if I want. Did I just decline? Oh, he disappears. All right. Let's try. We already have some. And the part of exile time. I see, I see. Still no hello. That means the, the league is not completely dead on arrival, at least. That's something. That's something. That is something. I guess don't forget to check the Steam page. There it is. There is a the link. Thanks to publishers for sponsoring this little segment. I know my world. Ooh, wood, iron, and stone. Left in this world. Not a better list, though, it. but fine. Has good resources there. More resources there. This guy, like, like the demo, pretty much was the full tutorial here and stuff. It's just the demo had like the limit on the things you build, eh? and now you're absolutely free to explore that stuff. Man, I want to find the resource extraction. What if we actually... You know what? Maybe... How about we go this way? Okay, fine. Guess we'll see. Let's go for some big... Some big expedition with all the friends and stuff. Buildings in the horizon. Wait, who would that be? That seems like another commander, probably. Seems like a tower to me. Ah, look at that piece of junk. Mechanic. Let me build you something good to fly. Something with style and point and beat. Hmm. So this one gives the. Mm, I'm gonna try. The pirates. Yeah, fine. Defend the ships. So you're just gonna live here. We need some folks up here working the bellow, and I can really do with a drink. We need some folks. On a sign. I guess we just demolish then. 
All right, let's see. Can I somehow... That didn't really this demolish, I guess. All right, whatever. Can I assign you... No, that's not the... I want the, want the, the dock. I want the citadel. Mm, okay, so little we can't assign, so we need another tower. Like mechanic. Supposedly, I guess we'll upgrade the surveyor. Fine, let's get another Bigus Tower. Mm, I feel like this one. No, I am available for this upgrade though now. I forgot how I look IRL, yeah. I mean, if I would be right now cleanly shaven, then yeah, that would be pretty close. It would be pretty close. I would be pretty close there. I would be pretty close. Okay, when they got that, you know, like another little layer. Not exactly the same, but you know. It's kind of a little... Just gonna shave real quick, you know. <clears throat> that would be better then. That would kind of work. That would kind of work. Somewhat. Somewhat. That's the head for the favorite. For the favorite Ultans game, eh? All right, so we need more iron. For that, I need more extractors. Let's, let's see if I can find them somewhere. Or oh, maybe like trade with some. Let's see these guys, maybe. Basilicus. Mm, oh, Temple of the Hidden Tears. Huh? Let's see, these guys might trade me some iron. Let's go. Or we can maybe even fight. Who knows, huh? Now let's see. Well, I mean, you guys are going to be deciding after all. After all, eh? you're going to be the ones to decide. Eh? Refugee settlement spotted on the horizon. Wait, 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 wait. That is also something I can try. This meager holding was always a last resort. The key ends right here, I see. permanent home. Demolish this temporary haven. So we can rebuild upon a spot of your choosing. Alright, fine. Not gonna do it now, but we got them. I will get them some house. Man, that's gonna be a long training route though, I have to say. Salad Mount. That's my favorite. My favorite. It's the soul trees. Oh, that's how it goes, huh? A bannerless supportive. Rehouse neutral. Hmm. You wonder why. Population. Captains active. A bunch. Why they supportive and these guys neutral. These were like our first ones. We have the most of them too. What if it's like when you get here? And the water is bad for business. True. Pirates and Toads games, eh? Come on, man. There's a whole quest line in Starfield, after all. Right, the war. Or not war. I don't see my bird gears anymore. Oh, no, there are some. All right. They be slow. But something like that in, in like the first or third person, you know, that would be really good. Like in this kind of world of them. Like the, wood, the water centered post apocalypses, I really kind of like always uh, like. I guess like the water world movie that everyone for some reason hates, sort of. Kind of did it to me. Yeah, getting some. some apocalypse like that. Post apocalypse like that, rather. 
and there is not much you know in that in that line of um, in that line of games let's put it that way like, again like age of water is kind of trying to make that happen now but age of water is still going to be like live service you know grindy game which already feels kind of like they're not going for this like more gritty you know like uh, brutal type of world more kind of just like meme fiesta not like serious and like the gameplay is more arcadey and stuff too so like it's not exactly you know going for the same for the same vibes there let's put it that way not the same not the same vibe eh? spot friends maybe we're gonna go to war It'd be nice to have friends no, no friends, because bad man. That kind of his previous game, Falconeer. I should I should check that one out, yeah. Cause like I remember that one. It it didn't look like it though, kinda. But maybe maybe I just didn't really look into it better. Maybe I should check. Like not necessarily, you know, focused on like the birds flying and stuff like this. You know that's also kinda interesting. Like more on land than on boats, I would prefer. A light already, damn son. Got the XP, Pug. Or like both boats and flying stuff. That would be cool. There was a, uh, like... Uh, what was the name? Was it the Project Nomad? Or was it a different one? Yeah, yeah, Project Nomads that was. Uh, that one was with uh, the flying... The flying islands, uh. Where you fly? Actually, I don't remember. Was it was it the flying a boat or was it like the the whole island was flying? I think the whole island wasn't it. And that was cool. That one was cool. I wonder if it's actually. Let me see. I think that one is kind of gone though. Like it's not on GOG. Like, oh, yeah, abandoned where? All right, I see. Well, you know, that might be something for some boomers on, maybe. If you'll see, something like this new would be nice, too, also. Like, for the flying, but, like, in some sort of, like, different post-apocalyptic stuff. The Airborne Kingdom, yeah, true, true. All right, let's see. I think we'll be able to get some decision-making here, too. Admiring the there it is. Sad it took four decades of war to get here. Now it's going to waste because so many have left us. Declare yeah, the war. Oh, the Giga intimidated there, I guess. Establish street a uh, harbor. All traders, commanders, and captains being dismissed. Yeah, I don't think we have anyone from this faction though, so that shouldn't really be the problem. So we, we, we will win, and how will that work? Let's see what will happen. Yeah, we have like two different squads of bird geese, and we got the more the kind of flying, certain not servers, I guess. That's, that's not the friends one, that I think from one of the outposts I found. A legendary experience, Spoog. The remains of the Mansa Warrior have seen our settlement as danger to them. Their forces are a mustering. Monka is. So how about that? What to do with you now? Admiring the Mansa advancement, sir. Sad it took four decades of war to get here. And now it's going to waste. Surrender so and peace now, looks like. Settlement surrender, negotiate peace with faction. Surrender. Let's see surrender, I guess. Uh -huh. So th these these guys are now with us. It seems they kind of did they just like the convert into into our sort of settlement. So this is under our control now. No peace. The problem, though, <laughs> this way we don't get iron here because I still don't have extractors. I swear they were like extracting here though, like come on dude. Why did they surrender the settlement but not the extractor though? Unlucky. 
I won't die in... I want more upgrades, eh? Wonder if there's some more around there. I mean, they might be anywhere, really. I wonder if we can like, still explore here, or is it kind of dead end? Probably dead end, because the rest of the map is kind of open there. Oh, yeah, these guys. These guys are mad now. And because of the war. Fine. Got their settlement, now they mad, eh? Actually, speaking of... Travel here, I just want to fast travel there, really. Settlement's too far away, so you can't switch when you're too close. Or too far, rather. You can't even like manage them that easy. People, giving them the dreams of their lost kin. Provide them peace and healing. Next gen, there he is. We would set up a siege huntress pagodi in your settlement and spread our healing. Hmm. We can heal your people, giving them the dreams of their lost kin. Siege huntress a pagodi. and healing. This is what we have always New businesses appear. Like, how did, does that work, though? Like, how do we build those? Uh, new businesses. How do we get them? Oh, they appear just automatically. See, it says that it's gonna appear. So, I guess when you unlock them, they just kinda appear. And provide some, like, benefits. This this will be healing. Those are, like, the, 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 the some brewer guy. So, I guess it's kinda, like, improves the reputation with everyone or something. I assume... Okay, wait a second. Is it the big enough tower here for the commander? It should be, I guess. I'm ready to take uh -huh. this fight up in the air. Looking forward to taking that heat for it currently apart. Might have some good nuts and bolts in there. We've got so if we do this... Stuff, eh? Uh huh. Wait, it's already upgraded? Oh... <laughs> All right, that's like my Oblivion character there now. <laughs> yeah, modified version there. It's like a fish game now. Interesting construction. I wonder how that would work. So this one should be stronger too. Huh? Hmm. The more trader going on, going him here. Probably. I think still all the farming. Well, it's also like because we we got already like two different, two different bird geese. Huh? And we got these guys with me now too. We are but humble refugees. Many from the. We are All right, fine, sure. So, like, a lot of settlements already with this this way. What was, like, the best way to deal with them? Like, you probably shouldn't integrate them in your, like, basic settlement. Because it's different, like, factions, sort of. can get a no point. Even though I guess you kind of need somewhat. Like, kind of cluster them together in a way. Because you're not going to have enough, like, trading ships, I guess, to provide All right, let's see. Mm. Oh yeah, these guys all all at war. Let's, let's see what this boy is actually. What's there? It's like the ship and the birds. Everyone's leveling pretty much. So yeah, you probably get them quite strong. This flying there. Alright, it's probably some of our friends still around.
A resource colony ahead. That is something I like to hear. Basically, it's already the one we have. That one we already have. Now let's see what the boys. Uh, buildings in the horizon. That's a commander, probably, right? An old century tower. Oh, unique building. All right. Get this working again. We can salvage it. Portable. It into an offensive emplacement there you are again. Anywhere. You can also attach it to a harbor, making it a rallying point for your surface fleet. A rallying point. All right. Offensive emplacement would dropped anywhere. Sounds good. Huh? Right, there's a lot of like unique buildings and stuff now. That's cool. So we just can salvage and drop it anywhere. And it has turret on its own. That's nice. Friends until the end. Feels good, man. The friends actually, I think, kind of like stay where they spawn. I feel. Actually, I'm not sure where they spawn now. Maybe they spawn near your base. And it didn't spawn on me. That's for sure. Buildings on the horizon. Uh, would that be that's some dang stuff here already? What? You've spoil What? You've never seen a basilicus? A mansa treasure box is what it is. And we have the keys. This is a bannerless holding now, and no one can do a thing about it. Can you even trade with these guys? <laughs> I think there's only like vote war on this one. That's a nice choice there, alright. There is only war. Mm, this one is actually already dank. It's also because uh, some of the like some of the like the pirates aligned the guys just kind of ditched us because that's their faction. There is only war. Yeah, that's a big boy there though. Let it go down. The Light Falcon, you lost. No. Should we could get him. That was the last ones, I think. Come on. Boom. Who's even alive there? There we go. A victory. Or not leveling up, I guess. My right, boys. What? You've never seen a basilicus? A man's treasure box is what it is, and we have the keys. Basilicus. This is a bannerless holding now, and no one can do a thing about it. Yep, not really, man. This is our holding now, it seems like. Kick. So they did surrender. That's another tower we can get here. So I wonder how it works now. See, we got like 1,200 of these people and they're kind of maybe not very happy now. Oh yeah, trade with these guys is over too. All right, we'll need to go teach them a little. Some lessons, eh? the warmongers, man, yeah. Insane. I do not support that. Do not support all that war. It's not, not demolish. I don't want to demolish, but I wonder what it does in general. There's just towers and stuff. This one you can't even get like the, the, the captain in, so... Maybe here we can, though. This one, maybe. The Giga Tower. Aha, uh -huh, this one we can, alright. No available commanders, though. Hmm, okay, so there's like two commanders technically we can put. What is this, though? Oh, it's a citadel. All right, I see. So this is the bannerless boys. That's where they produce the population. Let's see. 
Yeah, we need way more resources now, dude. I still haven't seen extractors, actually. Funny game is nice. It's nice. It does have, like, a little bit of this, you know, the um, kind of, like, fuck around and find out a little, you know, thing go into it. Like, a, a way, a way low on hand-holding. Which is a good thing, but sometimes, you know, like with campaigns especially, I kind of do like a little bit of this, like, you know, direction sort of, with like missions and everything. It is pretty nice, though. It is pretty nice. Okay, so this is the more. The water just drops in. So it has a lot of a lot of depth to it and everything, but you're basically kind of finding the depth. The goal, so like there is from what I gather, like what like the goal is basically like, you know, do whatever you want, sort of, but there is also this like soul tree stuff. And somehow when you get far enough in that tree, you're gonna unlock some sort of well, yeah, these guys total war and aggressive conflict, apparently. So when you get some of these like complete complete fool. Are you, I think, gonna get some sort of, like, sort of, like, wonder. The quest for some wonder. So, I, I guess that's sort of the the destination. It does it here. Where was it? No, no, earlier then. That was Soul Tree, actually, maybe? Yeah, once you have fully unlocked the soul tree for a faction, a quest to find a faction of wonder may appear. And that settlement that we attacked was kind of like, yeah, we, we, we keep the Basilicus. And that's like some sort of like treasure throw. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, foresty resources. Uh, yeah, this is, that's pretty much just, yeah, just build things. That's it. That's, that's your goals, man. But there is this kind of question thing. It's like really, really off hands with the... Giving you those goals and everything. The hands off, rather. Not off hands. Can build for the sake of building. And there is still some other stuff to do. And get all the resources. Transport vessel. Greetings. Sure, get him. Another captain. A lot of kind of like the cool things happening too. They get unlocked like new buildings uh, on the way. I'll go deal with these guys then too. Fine. You get the new, uh, build, new unique buildings you find and stuff. I think this like the whole army already flying and I guess it's also not not the end I can get more and yeah then there's like this wonder quest but that will take some time I guess to get the soul tree especially if we're gonna be at war with everyone <laughs> but I guess free house we still should be able to kind of pump there Because there are actually even like free house uh, settlements. Doesn't seem like it. I guess since we kind of like play as them, they're gonna be kind of us. So we can't really piss them off <laughs> because they're not on the map. Everything else we can though, clearly. Wait, it was Basilicus actually that they mentioned there. Ah, uh, maybe actually I assume we will need to. Oh, wait. Not the... oh, Basilicus, it was this one, yeah. Yeah, we took over. Says that they have the key. I bought some treasure. But not sure. Not sure. Will we be able to get that treasure? That's the question. I think the turrets can also like demolish and build them somewhere else. Talk. Oh, we're probably approaching the yeah, yeah the settlement. There it is. Um, 
Can we get your extractor, please? That would be very nice. Okay, I haven't seen extractors whatsoever still. This wood mill and all of its C3 production there it is. And they say it's under our protection. Lictor Lidders. And try to get the piece. I mean, actually, let's see how it works because we only had a surrender before. Truce has been agreed, but any new aggression on our part will escalate the conflict back to its previous status. Well, I mean, obviously. So we're back to friend again. You're joking, right? Get some pirate blood going in that settlement of yours. Then we'll talk. <laughs> He's re-established the trade harbor again. All right, let's see. About settlement. I see. Okay, okay. There it is. Huh? Back to trade again. A little misunderstanding there, dude. Huh? Don't worry. So showing some fighting there. Who? I think we so we sorted that out. A real ox. And what is this fighting showing? Oh, wait a second. Someone cheesing. Hmm. Who did you shoot, guys? Don't seem like it. Maybe someone in the distance or something. Yeah, build the wood gear. Come on. My ship only carries wood and workers. And that's what we need, eh? and that's what we need, eh? All right. Prospering. A risk of being raided, then bring it on, man. Bring it on. We need more. Even though I'm not sure, I guess. No, I, I think some of the, like, the warband, actually, I think I should be able to see in here, right? See, the bannerless constructor. Defense spiral missiles, uh, speed. Uh. See, that's the upgrade we have. Uh. Freehouse Cloud Runner. That was my old one, I think. Light. Then we have. Oh no, it is just my. Okay, okay, I see. Bannerless constructor, freehouse. Well, this seems kind of better, though. Point defense is four. Fire missiles use speed a bit lower, but health higher. Speed. No heavy guns, no fire missiles. And defense lower, so that's better. I thought I could check like the XP on other group members, all the birdies and stuff. I guess not. Maybe it's by No, I, th I think it's, it's, it said that we lost like a light falcon here. Unless they... No, I think it actually said in the tutorial that it's uh, like they're gonna be like the noob ones basically spawned. Yeah, they're gonna be the noob ones. Eh? Oh, wait. This one? Wait, who? Gonna make it there in time. Didn't have any like traders or anything there. Which ship is that? The boy, yeah, the boy, the, the boy was this kind of like the the gap there with all the water going down there. That I feel gonna be something probably towards like the the wonder quest at the end, I guess. The only thing I need to, to still to figure out where we get those extractors, like I do need a lot more resources. Yeah, they haven't found any yet, and even when we destroy them. We in the sky. We in the sky. <laughs> Makes you want to play, I know, I see. And it's like it's the end of the world, yeah. Want to play, I know. Like, like, yeah, the, yeah, like some sort of like, you know, like the Giga focused management game also would be nice. This one is also nice, but this one kind of like, you know, 
This one is still more about like kind of the experience, you know, exploring things, being kind of clueless. I wouldn't mind some sort of like, you know, just straight up, you know, full blown management kind of game, this environment and stuff. Same as with like, you know, first third person immersive game in this environment. But I just I just like this setting in general. Oh, that's the boat. Damn, that's some big boat there. Holy, holy dude. Damn, son. But I think though those guys uh, that we pissed off by attacking their stuff. They are not very happy, clearly. Let's see, alright. My fleet, my fleet of birds. The ships are strong then. Like, probably kind of way stronger than all this, like, flying... Capable skull ship lost, though. I wonder if you can actually kind of like control that way and, like, you know, dodge stuff and everything. And we have more friends come into my territory. Okay, I gotta, like, peace out, actually. Don't want to lose my super leveled boy right there. Ah, get booked. Costly victory. That was indeed very costly, dude. Can we get something out of it? Or are just XP? Rip that guy. I think it's the guys we are at war with. Then they send this. That's that's why I was showing on the map. I was like, what what kind of a, you know fighting is going on there? But that was brutal one. I guess like versus like the dang ships and stuff. You kind of want to have like your own ships, I assume. See, see, we see. Yeah, this setting, like, I like the float, Sam, on my wish list already forever. What else was there? There was one more, I think, that I also have on my wish list for a while. And I think a lot of them still in early access and stuff. So just kind of like waiting. I am waiting. Time to level up again. Boogie woogie. Question marks. Additional forces joined. All right, refueled. Refueled. Let's check the question mark. Like, I wonder how you get extractors in the end. Then that's some like you get turns there. So, transport a vessel for wood. Sure. Sure. All right. Keep mistyping. Still remember speaking to float some devs and tell like, See, dude, that that was in my on my wish list for a while too. Also, yeah, it's float Sam and that was something else. I forgot the name. I need to check my wish list. Is there? Is there still? All right. Save it. You know. I'll play some more, but we still need to continue. We still did have some uh, gaming news left to cover. So let's do that. Might do some more next week too. Might do some more next week. Explore it a little more. Explore it a little more. Alright. There we go. Get my old face back. There it is. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. It is indeed for one dev, I would say impressive. It's one of the cases, you know, when it's actually, when it's actually justified to be like this one, a one, a one dev game, because it's actually, you know, a good game makes one dev part more impressive. Okay. It doesn't really work other way around, you know, just, just one dev on its own doesn't mean that it's impressive. But when the game is good and it's one dev, then it's very poor. Anyway, let's do the last link then, so you can check the Steam of this game, of Bulwark. 
things the publishers for sponsoring this segment. That was match made in heavens, man. I was already playing this demo twice before. Demo of this game starting in summer last year. And you know, getting getting sponsored by that is just perfect. Because you know, you already kind of want to play it anyway. Don't mind playing it whatsoever. And then you also get a little something for it. That feels very...